Hi everyone, welcome for today's workout. Today we're going to be warming up with a 6 minute amp rep. This will be for our program A and program B at the gym. 6 minute amp rep means that you need your rounds as possible. And it's going to be very simple. We're trying to target at least 2 rounds minimal. And it's going to be 5 straight leg raises on one side. And then 5 straight leg raises on the other side. When we're done with that, we're going to go for 5 5 dynamic lunges. 5 5 leg swings. 10 alternating sweep the floor and 10 up and down. Are you guys ready? Let's do this. Alright guys, get ready. 10 seconds on the clock. 6 minutes, we're going to start up with lying on the floor. Okay? So in 3, 2, 1. Everybody, let's go to the floor. We're going to engage our core and leave our body as flat as possible towards the floor. From here, we're going to lift our legs for five repetitions. Okay, keep it going. Everybody can go on their own pace. Whenever we are done with five reps, you switch legs and you do five reps on the other legs also. Remember, very important guys, is keeping your torso, core, and glutes activating by passing it towards the floor. Okay, when we're done with those five, five, now we're gonna go for the next part. We're gonna open a little bit wide. Same thing, we're gonna engage our core, bring our torso inward and squeeze our butt. The idea is not to go as low as possible, but try to keep those butt activated, okay? And try to keep your torso as straight as possible, okay? We're gonna do the same thing, five on one side, and then five on the other side. Okay, very good guys, very good, keep it up. The idea is just to move the body, activate the body a little bit, okay, so they can get ready for the rest of the day. When we're done with this, we're going to just kick the leg, tighten them forward, a little more dynamic movement, okay, and in case you need to hold some spot, a chair, a wall, anything to be to hold it for balancing of the body. Same thing, five first side. What we're moving for today guys is gonna be sweeping the floor. I like to slightly bend a little bit in the knees, try to grab our toes a little bit, hold it for one or two seconds, and then sweep the floor. Sweep the floor means we're gonna try to touch the floor with our arms, with our fingers, all right? If you notice also, Coach Bear right now is maintaining knees slightly bending. And that's very, very important. You don't want to have your knees completely locked up. It's basically just to move, just a little more and more the glutes, the lower back, the hammocks, things, the calves, a little bit of everything, guys. And now we will be doing again 10 reps total, 5 per side. Keep it up guys, we have 2 minutes and 30 seconds in and 3 minutes and 30 seconds left. Last one of the warm up before we start back your new round is going to be up and down and this will be also 10 repetitions. Okay, you can throw your body into a plank position and then throw it back into a squatted position. If you're not able to do this yet, no worries guys, you can step up and step down. The idea is to step down into a planking position and then step your body back up in a full extension position. When you're done with 10 reps, you're going to go back on the floor and lift your legs up and down. Okay? Good job, guys. Keep it up. Okay hey guys, almost done, two more minutes on the clock. We have two more minutes to go. And 
just continue going. Everybody can go on their own pace. So if you want to move a little faster, just move a little faster. If you slow it, if you have to slow things down, slow it down. Okay, the idea of this is just move a little bit, get the body ready for the program and the workout of the day. As seen over here also, coach is holding to a wall or an object just for the balance. You can also do this, okay, like we say, scale for life if needed. How's the body going? Warming up slowly but surely, guys? Yeah, keep it up, keep it up. We have one more minute on the clock, one more minute. Keep it going. I will tell you when we're done, guys. So just keep it going. Don't worry. Let's go. Woo! Just feeling ready to warm up, huh? Good. That's it. That's it. 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. And you need to stop by any chance, guys. Stop. Grab your air, drink a little bit of water, and continue going. 20 more seconds left on the clock. 20 more seconds. All right, guys, 10 seconds left on the clock. In three, two, Awesome guys, good work. If you need to pause this right now, pause it, take your rest, drink some water, and come back. Okay? Right now we're gonna get ready for a quick work. That will be our second warm-up of the day. Okay? It's gonna be like an extension of the warm-up, and it's gonna be for both programs, for program A and program B. The idea of this workout is we would like you to go outside, get some fresh air, okay? And it's gonna be very simple. It's gonna be an interval work of five rounds of a 200 meter run with 30 seconds rest in between. After you're done with these five rounds, guys, you're gonna rest two minutes and repeat again five rounds, but this time, 100 meter run and rest for 15 seconds. 100 meter runs, guys, you wanna move a little bit quicker and a little bit faster, okay? If you're not able to run outside, you can do quick step ups with me inside right now on your TV. Quick step ups means you're gonna grab something, an object, a plate, a box, a chair, a pillow, okay? And you're gonna use it as a target to go and put your knees and move as quick as possible. Same way of interval, guys, five rounds of one minute on, 30 seconds left, then we're gonna rest for two minutes, and then same thing, five rounds of 30 seconds on, and 15 seconds left. Okay, guys, I repeat, go grab something if you're gonna be inside with me, something that's gonna help you out, with this routine and workout, and then let's start. <laughs> awesome, okay, so we're ready. 10 seconds are ready, calm down. You're gonna be inside with me, awesome. Let's do this in three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna be moving on right, for five rounds of one minute on, 30 seconds rest. Awesome. So we will suggest everyone to move on their own pace, but try to stay consistent for one minute straight. Okay, we will not suggest to go quick in the first two, three, four, five rounds of this workout because one minute will be a lot. Okay, we have 30 seconds in, 30 seconds rest. If you need to just step up and step down nice and slow, okay, feel free to do that. The idea of this routine is so everyone and anyone can do this anywhere they would like to. Outside, inside, at the beach, okay, just we want you to be active and healthy. 10 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, last rest. Okay, hey guys, it's the first round, huh? How was it? Good? 
Okay, so remember, if you need to slow it down, slow it down. Take the 30 second rest, drink some water, okay, and join me back in 15 seconds. The idea, guys, is not to take a little bit longer break or rest. Show me right away in, but if you need to rest a little bit more, just slow down your pace, okay? We're gonna start back again in five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. You notice how Coach Javier is doing right now? He's doing nice and slow, okay? But he's staying consistent for the whole minute, and that's the idea. So anyone can do this at home or anywhere. And eventually, when you feel recovered, you can increase your speed back again. And let's go. Thirty seconds in, thirty seconds left. Fifteen seconds. In three. Two, one, Woo. Okay, guys, drink a little bit of water if needed. If not, stay consistent here with me, okay? Very important while you're resting, we like you to breathe in nice and slow and breathe outwards from your mouth nice and slow, okay? The idea of the rest is to bring your heart rate back down and get ready for run number three. Five seconds left, let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Stop, don't stop, don't stop, let's go. Woo. Not easy, right? In three, two, one, let's rest. All right, we have 30 seconds rest. Getting sweaty in here. Hot, hot. 10 more seconds. In three, two, one. Let's start back again, round number four. I will repeat, if you need to rest, okay? Don't rest, but just stay consistent with a lower pace, okay? I want you to move for one minute consecutive with no stopping. After that, guys, you deserve your 30 seconds rest, okay? Well, let's go. You guys can do this to me. Thirty seconds in, thirty seconds left. Fifty more seconds. I'm sweating here. I'm sweating here. Keep it up. I know it's not easy. I'm sweating with you guys. Woo. I need to take an extra break right now. In three, two, one, wrap. Walk around a little bit, grab some air. The idea is to bring your heart rate really low again. One more round, one more. 10 seconds on the clock. Okay guys, let's get ready. If you need to move slow, we will be moving slow together. If you can move fast, move fast. In three, two, one, go! Awesome, I'll be moving a little bit slow with you. 
All right, control my heart rate, and as you've seen, slowly but surely increasing my speed. Use your arms, use your arms a little bit more. Forty seconds. Thirty seconds to go. Ten more seconds, guys. Last one for today. Last one. Don't stop moving. Don't stop moving. We will be doing this together in three, two, one, time. All right, guys, so it's not done yet. Remember, we're not done yet. We have one more to do, okay? So take your rest, pause this video, and get to me back whenever you're ready. Minimum amount of rest, guys, will be two minutes. Okay, you guys are back? Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to start back again. Same thing, but this time it's gonna be a five rounds off. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds up. Okay, are you ready? Let's start with the clock. 10 seconds to go. This time, because it's gonna be shorter duration, we want you to move a little bit faster. So let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Don't stop, don't stop. Move with me, move with me. You guys can do this. Ten more seconds. Keep it going, keep it going. In three, two, one, and rest. Woo. Don't go far, guys. It's gonna be 15 seconds, so stay right there. Stay right there with me. Let's get ready to jump back again. In three, two, one, let's go. Can you slow down a little bit, guys? Slow down, grab your air, but continue moving. Stay consistent with me, okay? It's gonna go very quick, very fast. We have 20 more seconds left on the clock. 20 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, okay. If you need to pause this, pause this, drink a little water, turn me back, but if not, we're gonna go back into it in three, two, one, let's go. Like I said, you don't have to stop completely, guys. You can slow down your pace, okay? I just want you to move, okay? So just keep on moving, keep on working that body. Let's get fit, let's get fit. Ten more seconds. In three, two, one, rest. Two more rounds, guys. Two more rounds. Are you guys good, everyone? Yes. Okay. Let's start in three, two, one, go. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. All right, guys. Rest it up, rest it up. Grab some air. Stay with me, stay with me. Don't go far away. Last one. Three, two, one. Let's go. Last one. Twenty seconds.
10 seconds, don't stop. Keep it going, keep it going. I see you, I see you. Bring that heart rate up, bring the heart rate up. In three, two, one, and time. Okay guys, so what we recommend right now is stretch your body a little bit, okay? Get your air in, air out, bring your heart rate down, all right? Pause this video, stretch a little bit, recover from this routine, and let's get ready for the strength component, okay? See you guys in a couple of minutes. So we'll be having a couplet for our strength. It's gonna be leg, basically focusing on the quad, but also we're gonna be doing some conditioning, double onions that will also focus a little bit on the calf. Okay, so for this couplet, we have program A, by the way, it's gonna be minute one, eight to 60 lateral lunges, okay? About 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and then minute number two will be 40 seconds of double onions, skips, or mountain climbing, all right, okay? For program B, we're gonna be doing again same thing. It's gonna be front squats and front squats you can do with anything you feel free like it. But also we'll be having double under skips and on the climbing for this program. Okay, so for today guys with Coach B, we will be doing program A, body weight and more equipment duration. Let's get ready. 10 seconds on the clock. In three, two, one. All right, so let's start with the lateral lunges, guys. If you know lateral lunges, we're gonna try to maintain both feet flat on the floor, okay? The one that you're leaning on is specifically, please try to maintain that flat, that's the most important part. Also, if you notice when coach is doing it, he's pushing his butt backwards, hips backwards, okay? Activating and squeezing the glutes, but using the quads to press him back upwards, okay? His body is slightly leaning forward, and we'll be doing about 40 seconds of, of work, and 20 seconds of rest approximately to try to see how many reps can you complete, okay? All right guys, we have 10 more seconds to go. Now we're gonna start with round number two of minute number two. And that's gonna be in three, two, one. Let's go. From here, guys, you can decide we're gonna do double under, skips, or mountain climbing. Okay? Same thing. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna do five rounds total of this couplet. And repeat, guys, if you're doing program B, you can also use your equipment, dumbbells, barbells, or anything household object you can hold up in the front right position. And our main focus will be a little bit glutes, but also our quads. Okay, 10 more seconds to go on the clock, guys. Let's go. Three, two, one. All right, let's take our 20 second rest. That was one number one. Okay, four more rounds to go. That's back again. As seen, coach is doing program A, body weight. So he's gonna start back again in three, two, one. Okay. So the most important part for us guys for today is try to maintain that leaning leg flat on the floor. So try to work on that, push hips backwards, let your shoulders lean forward. On this position guys, we will not like to keep the chest nice and high because then you're not gonna be in a proper form and you're gonna be putting a lot of pressure on your knees. So repeat, push that hips backwards and keep that chest nice and slow. Let's focus activating those quads. Okay, let's work on those legs. 10 more seconds of work. All right, rest up for 20 seconds. Again, you decide how many reps you wanna do. We can do eight, 10, 14, 15 of those alternate lunges, or the same thing with a front squat. All right, let's get ready. In three, two, one, let's jump. Lights go down.
right, in three, two, one, rest out. Okay, guys, the same thing with the rest. The idea of the rest is to bring your heart rate back down, control it. I'm sweating right now as you see my shirt. It's double colors. Okay, let's go back into the lunges or squatting in three, two, one. Let's go down. If you're somebody don't feel comfortable to go low, don't worry, go towards your limits. But the idea is to work a little on the quad. So think about activating quads. Use your glute to explode your upper. So this will be your glute and quad work. Ten more seconds. Whew. That wasn't easy. The last rep. <laughs> okay, so rest, guys. Rest, rest, rest. You guys need it. All right. If you want to continue going during the rest, feel free. But well, we recommend resting up so you guys push harder on the second part of the couplet. Okay, and it's gonna be the skips, double unders, or mountain climber. Let's start up in three, two, one. Ten more seconds. And three, two, one, rest. We have two more rounds to go. That means four more minutes. Okay, guys, let's go back again into it in three, two, one. It's not easy, legs are burning right now, but we like to keep it going. Okay, 10 more seconds. And three, two, one. Rest if needed. Okay. Let's start back again. And three, Two, one, let's jump. So by this guys, we're working on our cardiovascular, we're working on our legs, calves, and I repeat, if you're not able to jump, you can do mountain climbers. If you cannot able to mountain climbers at all, guys, you can just jump and tap your hips. If you need to rest doing double under, guys, remember you can rest in between. I recommend keep it going, keep it going. That's why you have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. In three, two, one, rest. Okay guys, last round to start up. Last one in three, two, one, let's go. Alternating lunges. If you have your object, your equipment, feel free to do some squatting. All right. Also, if you have something at your house, feel free to grab it to do the alternating lunges with it. Okay. Our main focus is those legs. So keep it going, keep it going. 15 more seconds of work. Okay. 
Oh, all right, guys, rest a little bit. Okay, last one. If you're not able to do consistent double unders, which is also a good way to practice. So skip, skip, double under, skip, skip, double under. All right, remember you have 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. In three, two, one, let's go. Last one. Any more seconds. If you don't have a jump rope, you can contact one of our coaches here at Monsters and Logs. We will glad you provide you one. We have many colors, different styles. All right, so just let us know and we'll deliver it to your home. And rest. Woo. Okay, guys, we're gonna take those 15 seconds of rest, recover. Okay. If you think you're good for today, guys, feel free to stop. All right, we already did 30 minutes of work approximately, but we have one more workout to do. All right, so stretch a little bit, guys, pause the video, and join me back for the last part if you want to, or today you just did amazing for today. All right, hope to see you guys for the last part for today. If not, see you guys back tomorrow. For our last part for today's workout is going to be conditioning. All right, so I hope you guys are ready. If not, pause the video for a second, relax, and come back later. All right, or you can do this later in the day. The workout is going to be very simple. We're going to have also our body weight, no equipment duration, and also program B for light to moderate equipment. Program A is going to be very simple. It's going to be workout four times. Consists of 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. It's going to be 50 air squats or 50 pistols, 50 sit-ups, and then one-legged glute stretches. All right. After you're done with that, it's going to be 40, 40, 40, 30, 30, 30, 30 20, 20, 20, 10, 10, 10. But we will suggest, guys, if in case if you're new to this, okay, do half of the repetitions that you see over here. So for example, 25, 20, 15, 10, and five. This will be for our beginner athletes. Okay? If you're very good, but again, if you're not 100% if the volume of reps is good for you, we will recommend then at least doing one of those movements half reps. For Chavir for today, we'll be doing 50 air squats, 25 sit-ups, and then 51 leg lift with bridges. Okay? So he will do half of the sit-ups available. Very important on the leg group bridges, guys, is gonna be half repetitions on one side and half repetitions on the other side. If that's very difficult, guys, you can maintain both legs on the floor and just do regular glute bridges for the whole workout. Program B is gonna be the same thing for time 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And it's gonna be air squats or double squats or pistols, weighted sit ups, and then kettlebell swings. Depending again on the amount of weight you have, if it's gonna be a lighter weight, we're gonna suggest you do uh, American kettlebell swing. This means full extension over a head. If you have a, le uh, a little bit heavier object, we just recommend staying nice and easy with some Russian. That will be I. Okay guys, so let's get ready to rumble. Coach Javier put a 15 minute time cap for this workout. If you're not complete under 15, you're gonna continue go with feel free. If not, let's start in three, two, one, go. So depending again on the variation of the workout, if it's gonna be program A, it's gonna be just regular 50 air squats. And a repeat for beginners, we recommend doing half a month. Okay? Program B, guys, you can grab an object, put it in the front rack position, do goblet, okay? Maintain with an air squat. Believe it's not easy for the amount of volume, still gonna be very, very hard. And if you wanna make it a lot more difficult, you can change it up with a pistol, that means one-legged air squat, okay? 
We're gonna have 15 minutes time there for this workout. Let's see how far you can get. For air squats, guys, very important. Try and maintain both sides feet on the floor. Try to bring that hips below hip crease. That means right below the knee area. And try to maintain chest nice and up. Okay, don't force it, guys, because you always want your knees to go across over your toes a little bit. All right. After we're done with the sit-ups, guys, or with the air squats, we're gonna go and do the sit-ups. For program E, it's just gonna be regular sit-up. Okay, you can just do weighted sit-ups also if you want to. All right, that will be for our program B, light to moderate equipment. For the setups, guys, they're very, very important. Try to reach your shoulders to the floor. All right, try to go for how you set up your feet. It's up to you, okay? If you're somebody having trouble to go full extension, as Coach Vera is doing right now, you can just do half crunch. So basically, just try to lift your shoulders to the floor, squeeze in. You're still getting a good workout, a good concentration, all right, of the core. And again, a repeat, very important for beginner athletes. Try to do half of the repetition. Coach, if you're excited for this workout, he's going to do program A, body weight, no equipment variation. He will do 50 air squats, 25 sit-ups, and then 40 bridges. So the sit-ups will be done halfway for him. If you feel comfortable, just keep it going. All right. You can also stop, stretch a little bit if needed, and then jump back into it. By having a time cap, it's going to push it until you go harder. All right. By having no clock running, you're just going to go with the flow. All right, so that's why it's very important to have a clock running, and that's why I'm here to guide you guys. For the glute bridges, if it's possible, guys, try to extend those legs a little bit. Coach here, kind of working it, Zach, I'd say coach. All right, so try to keep the knees nice and locked, toes pointing outwards, okay? And do about 50 reps, so that means 25 per leg. Coach Javier is alternating reps here, reps there. You can also do that with no problem. We have three minutes and 12 more minutes to go on the clock. If you need to stop and see what the workout is, feel free to stop and see it, continue going. Okay. If you need to rest, take your rest, break, drink some water, just do it and jump back into it. Okay? And very important guys, if you see it's difficult to keep those both legs of one leg on top, all right, we recommend keeping both legs on the floor and then bringing hips up and down, okay? And now you're done back, you're gonna stand back up and you're gonna start back with those air squats. You're gonna be squatting, pistols, goblet squats, even a barbell, you know? Feel free to use them. Make, make it work, make it work guys. How's the legs feeling? How's those legs feeling? It's burning already? Mine are. I know you can. If I can do it, guys, definitely you can. Okay? You can scale to any level, fitness level, and see how it's very important. By the way, when you're going in a squatting position, push your toes outwards, okay? But keep on moving. That's the most important part. What am I doing? I'm doing a couple of reps. Rest, switch position, and continue going. All right, so I don't walk around. Just try to switch, and then go back right away into it. I know it's burning, I know it's burning. I feel it. If I feel it, definitely you guys are feeling it too. Well, let's go. So we have about five minutes and 30 seconds in. So less than 10 minutes left, guys. 
If you want to put your feet below an object, like your sofa, your bed, your house, you your body upward, do it. All right? If you have a friend or family home, okay, tell them to hold your feet, do it. Okay, we want to do this together. If you're doing it with two people right now, you can lock your feet together and bring yourself up and down together. All right? If you need to stretch, roll over, push your hips to the floor, all right, stretch, and then jump back in. You can also do crunches. It's very, very important, guys. You're not obligated to stay with one movement all the time. Try to go with the flow and just move. Woo! All right, Pete, everybody's gonna go a different pace, different level, so what I want you to do right now, guys, is just go, 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 go. Okay guys, so don't stop. Keep it going, keep it going. All right, so we're a little bit more than halfway into the workout. So that means eight minutes on Seven more minutes left, guys. I know you can do this. If you need a rest, rest. But we recommend just continue going. Keep the face down and just go. All right. Let's see how fast can I finish this. How are you guys doing over there with the goblet squats? You guys using good? Talk for a little bit more, huh? Who said home workout should be easy? Who said though? I don't know. And we're lying. <laughs> we're definitely suffering here. But well, that's good. Woo! Alright guys, everyone's going different levels or whatever you are guys, just keep it pushing. Alright? Try to do this as fast as we can. You rest, stretch, stretch whatever you need, and come back to it. Okay? If you lower down your reps halfway, you should be almost over with a workout before you already are. If it gives you already you are guys, or if you just starting a little bit back, see how far you can get. Okay, depending on how your body is feeling. Okay, if not, remember tomorrow for another day. Here's for large. <laughs> Woo! Sweating here. As I repeat it, keep on going. We have five more minutes on the clock. Five more minutes, guys. That's it.
And if you're down, guys, man, we're logging your scores of SugarWatch. If you don't have SugarWatch, download it on your App Store, download it on your Google Store, Play Store, right, and look for it. Now, if you download it, it's going to ask you to log in and register. Okay, and after that, guys, you can log in. Early morning or the day before, alright, so you can program your clock. Alright, and also very, very good. You can see what workout, what movement, and also what equipment you might be using for the workout. Okay? Almost done here, guys. Almost done. We've got four minutes to go on the clock. Ooh. The last part should be the easiest because you're going to transfer easier from movement to movement to your station. So now is where I want you to do battle to the man. Three more minutes on the floor, guys. Three more minutes. Let's go. We're almost over, almost done with our workout of the day, guys. So let's go, let's go, you can do it. Push, 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 push. Every rep counts, every rep counts. Let's go. All right, that was hard. I'm done. All right, hope you guys are done also. If not, we have two more minutes to go. Two more minutes of this workout. If you guys, the two minutes are over, you're not done still, okay? You can stop. All right, you did good. We did a lot already. We did an hour workout. If you want to finish it, guys, just go ahead and finish it. Okay, tomorrow's another day. And let's do this again. If you're done already, guys, we recommend stretching a little bit. Okay, stretching the hips, the legs, the quads, the glutes, the lower back. Just a little bit of everything. Okay. Go for a small walk outside in the garden. All right. If you're still busy, we have one more minute. So it's time to push. Last minute for today, last minute. Forty seconds. If you're already done guys, stretch it out, don't wait. All right, start stretching. And after the 15 minutes, we're gonna be done with the clip and video, but I would like you to continue stretching for at least three to four, even five, six minutes more, okay? 20 seconds guys, 20 seconds, let's go, let's go. Push, 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 push. Last couple of seconds, get ready in three. Two, one, done. Done. Good job, good job. That was not easy. Okay, try to grab your air, guys. Breathe in slowly. Exhale slowly. The idea is just to be active. All right, moving 
the button. Okay? Awesome work. See you guys tomorrow.